to welcome Annette G from Sweden. Welcome, dear Annette G. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear Helen G. Thank you, everyone. It's such a great honor and joy to be here today to share. First of all, I've been in this Dharma for about 20 years. So the gratitude that I have inside is immense. All of life changed as I came in connection to this path of freedom. It's truly a, a path where we can experience life from a whole new platform. And that happened the very minute I found this. It was planted like a seed and then it just took off. It's truly a process that keeps going no matter where you get on this train, so to speak. <laughs> it feels like in a journey. So I want to start by just expressing my deepest gratitude to this phenomenon of the great compassionate light and the giver of this gift, because it's truly a gift. It's nothing that we do on our own. So my deepest gratitude to Sri Amma Bhagwan, the spiritual avatars who brought in this phenomenon and totally changed my life. It's all about connecting into that presence. For me, it was like that at least. Maybe it's different for each one, but that's how it happened for me. Connecting into that what I call antriyaman, the higher sacred self, that then became very real. And from there on, a process started, a journey where life never returned to what it was before. My daily life in a profound way changed the relationships in my life. Before my life was filled with trying to change the other or change myself to fit the situation at hand. Now things are just flowing naturally. The relationships itself was what changed in, in the biggest way for me in my life a relaxation of the body, mind, consciousness, and an energy that appeared. A silence, an absence of conflict. For me, in my experience, there is no person here only personalities dependently arising and ceasing. That has been my real experience for some time. And it's always difficult to explain that. And it's not necessary, but I thought I would share that since this is a, a platform when that can be shared. So sometimes we are a mother or we are a sister or a, a daughter or a friend. Naturally that appears. So there's no sense of a person here. There is no mm, conflict with an inner, what you can call mind or a chatter, a dialogue. When I first got in contact with the sacred presence inside, I heard about this declutchment of the mind. And I had no idea what that was. And I simply asked, can, can such a state be given? So for me in my journey, everything has been a gift. Truly, I have never done anything to achieve anything. It is only a gift.
as a recent classes with Sri Bhagwan, there has been a lot of new experiences, like this has been a process. It always keeps us going forward. And as a recent surgeries, you can call it, it's mystical surgeries. It's something mystically that happens inside of us. So it's not a psychological process. That is not how it's been for me. It has always been something emerging from the heart. And the experience given is a oneness, a union with what is being experienced. So there is no separation between the experience itself and the object of what is experienced and the witness coming from here. It's an emergence. And that is not something that you can really put words on, but it is emerging from this intelligence that dwells within. So everything is that gift. There is a peace, an inner stillness, an expansion, an absence of thoughts. Thoughts are there when needed. Perhaps the greatest gift of all is the download of sacred presence, of sacred consciousness. So in my tradition in the Nordic countries, we have the Christian background and it has become alive for me. It is not something to be held within the concept of religion or any cultural background. It's a consciousness of a huge, huge peace, friendship, love, and compassion. I'm in total awe over this magic I just love everyone so much. And it's not because of something. And I just wish this peace and this love and this absence of conflict for everyone. I know to keep this sharing short, so. I just want to say this is truly for everyone. I have been sharing this for many years across the world. I have met so many people and it doesn't matter. It's not about comparing oneself to anybody or any country, any cultural background. It's not about that. It's the path of freedom of discovering that energy that is our true nature. I think this is what everyone's been looking for. Where oneness is not sameness.
Thank you so much. Thank you all the beings of light who are here to help us through this transition of consciousness in our world, setting us each in this path of liberation, each and every one of us in our own way. It's a huge phenomenon this is. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone on this call that I can share. Thank you, my beloved Amma Bhagwan. Thank you, great compassionate light, all the beings of light. It is real. It is to be experienced for everyone. Embrace that freedom within. It is here and it is real. I love you so much. Thank you so much for this sharing opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Anetji.